I truly believe in the power of God. I believe that the kind of Christianity that does not have proof as to the claims that we bring from scripture is merely a dead religion. This is what I believe. If it is true that Jesus died, if it is true that he is alive, if it is true that he is today seated and exalted, glorified as both Lord and Christ, then there must be a backing to our profession. We must return with evidences that attest to the fact that he is alive. This is not just some drama we are playing. Truly he is alive. But you cannot just tell the world he is alive. I write these things unto you, O excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Not just teach, to do. They must hear and they must see. They must hear and they must see. You hear that Jesus is Lord, then you see that he is Lord. You hear that he is healer, then you see that he is healer. You hear that he is lifter, then you see that he is lifter. Everything God said, he saw, he said. That is the formula. If it does not work like that, he is not there. It is saying and seeing that proves that he is alive. Not just saying. He says, when I came to you, listen, that I did not just come with the excellency of speech, but in the demonstration of power, that your faith will not rest upon Sophia, the wisdom of man, but upon the power of God. In one minute, I'd like you to lift your hands and thank him for the marvelous miracles. Lives transform destinies. This is what the church is about. The light of the world indeed. Salt of the earth. Ambassadors. Heralding a superior government. And proving the validity of that government here and now. Lord, we thank you. We are not ungrateful. Alive in our midst. Strong in our midst. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. One more time. And I will not be silent. I will. As long as, as long as I am here, I worship you. Hallelujah. Just two instructions by God, and then we'll sit down. While I raise this song, immediately I just saw light. Every time God reveals this kind of thing for me, it is because a season has come. Now, listen, please. Listen. I'm seeing at least 17 people, and I want you to hold them. People will start to run out by the Spirit. It is this grace for speed that we talk about. There are people that have come here. God has revealed things to you already. He has told you that this is a season He's shifting you. 
I'm about to declare that word. Please just bring them out here. Everywhere I'm seeing that anointing of the Spirit of God. There are businesses, there are individuals, there are families, there are ministries that have been kept at a level. He said, Moses, tell the people that they go forward. Therefore, I declare by the power of the Spirit, as instructed by God, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Bring them out. I decree and declare, speed every delay. I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. And I decree and declare now, you will run like Elijah and overtake the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel you will run like Elijah financially spiritually I declare by the voice of prophecy in the name of Jesus everything holding you down that will not allow you move forward I speak to you tonight go forward 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 and every power sitting on your destiny that would not let you move forward hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus the christ of god the one who is exalted as lord and christ i command those spirits to give way now give way now give way now over financial destinies give way now every ministry here represented that will not move forward in their prophetic assignment whether you are a man of god or you are an ordained worker i decree and declare that grace for speed lands upon your destiny now hear me there are businesses here that have been grounded I take five years and put it in one month for you by prophecy the achievement of five years may it manifest in one month please believe it don't sit here wondering what is happening now the Lord is that spirit now the Lord is that spirit everything that should have entered your hand but it's been hijacked by powers in the second heavens i stand by prophecy this week between today and next week sunday i prophesy may it enter your hand i may it enter your hand every helper of your destiny who has refused to cooperate with the holy spirit to birth prophecy over your life i'm speaking over a family and in the i've been instructed to do this i decree and declare every helper of your destiny hear the word of the lord from the north the east the south the west i command them to appear over your destiny For some of you, while you are in this service seated, the spirit of the living God is going to the helpers of your destiny and compelling men to speak at the gates for you. In the name of Jesus, before you get there, a good report would have gone ahead of you. Hear me? Shame and reproach that has refused to live your life by the God of heaven let it end here tonight let it end let it end here tonight let it end here tonight one last prayer and you'll be seated this grace for visibility that can expose a man to his world can I tell you being gifted is powerful but if that engracing is not upon you you will remain there with your gift 
there is a grace it's called a hear ye him anointing the grace that compels your territory not only to know you are there but to come and place a demand on your grace i speak to someone here you have done your due diligence to build now is the time to be seen i stand by the voice of prophecy may that grace for visibility let it come on you now visibility in business visibility in ministry in the name of jesus christ the bible says and it was noised abroad that jesus was in town who noised it is not our business it was noised and any man in fraternity with dark powers who says over his dead body for you to rise may his prayer be answered in this service see you see let me tell you this please look up prophecy is not an announcement prophecy is creation you are not just announcing what should happen you are making it happen consistent with the will of god there are many dimensions to the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic that supplies you spiritual information to the end that your faith be built right and then you have hope and the bible says hope does not make ashamed but there is the creative dimension of prophecy it does not just reveal what will happen it makes it happen when the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not announcing what would have happened anyway there was no way that would have happened oh like the prophet let me speak over someone's life by this time tomorrow i don't mean prophetic tomorrow literal chronological tomorrow may a testimony that will surprise you come to you Thank you, Jesus, the mighty God. Wave your hands and just give him thanks. Lord, we bless you. When you come, you come like a mighty God that you are. You come to us because you love us. What is man that thou art mindful of, nor the son of man that thou visitest him? You do this because you have loved us with an everlasting love and even drawn us with your loving kindness thank you and for all those who are out i decree and declare as it has been spoken so let it be for you in the name of jesus christ we establish it by the spirit and we declare that you will stand to testify here can i tell you this there is a way you can make declarations and the devil can thwart it but there is a mystery called the key of David. It says, I am he that was dead. And now is alive, Revelations 1. And I hold the keys. The key that opens a door that no man can shut. There are doors that men can shut. There are doors that if shut, men can open. But there is a kind of key that opens a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open that is dominion please be seated god bless you good evening everybody this is koinonia When the believers were wondering what the power of God was doing, Peter said, this is that. This is that which was prophesied by Joel. That I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. I appreciate everyone. Thank you for 
the sacrifice to be here week in week out i sense that as i teach tonight aside from the impartation of wisdom one of the things that we're going to be receiving by the spirit is an engracing to walk in the reality of that which was spoken about it is one thing to have information ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 he says he said unto me son of man stand up upon your feet he had no strength he was given an instruction but he did not have the power to stand verse 2 says and the spirit entered into me when he speak not before when as the word came the spirit came to and he set me upon my feet and i heard him that spake unto me hallelujah praise the name of the lord Thank you.